You hello people of the internet I am Savage Toaster, here to bring you an important message you see. There are haters in our society. Now I know that may have came as a shock to some of you but, not your boy, because your boy is a savage. Now however with that being said let's get right into the video because I know all of you want to know about Keemstar Safety Cough Cough. Did you know there's a fantastical world where you can be whoever you want and do whatever your heart desires? So it may sound like a far you away place, but it's closer than you think. This place with, is the internet. Is. And for one lonely it. princess, it was everything she needed. From her attic room at the top of a giant castle, she could do whatever she liked. But it's also the place where evil Arrow lives. Dangerous things happen when he's around. Things you wouldn't want to happen to you. Our story about Lost Princess and her new friend White Knight is made up. Hi. Hey, Princess. But what happens to the children we meet when Evil Arrow comes along is very, very real. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Our heroine, Lost Princess. She lived in a castle. Except, I suppose, uh, well, it wasn't a castle, more like a house on a street. <laughs> Alongside hundreds of others. Lost Princess took a lot of care over her appearance. But online, there were no limits. She could look however she wanted. I've got green hair. No, it just has to be purple. And to go with her purple hair, she chose a bright orange. You okay, we are a good amount into the Keemstar safety video for me to say. That this narrator sounds like someone told him that he had no choice but to read this script. However, my thoughts on the video so far is that this leafy guy is definitely a cyberbully. However, not as much as that hater Keemstar. Also, what is she running on that Mac? Mac OS Alpha. 120,047 AOL compatible. Q I am pretty sure when she logged onto her World of Warcraft beta she went through this loading screen. Stress. Orange was her favourite colour. After purple. Can I carry on? No. Perfect. Now I'm just right. How are you doing? In Wonder Web World, there were so many people to meet. Lost Princess quickly made friends. Alright, be me. Hi, I'm White Knight. I'm Lost Princess. Poison Apple appearing live and online. Poison Apple is so cool. Yeah, they're my favourite band. I've seen them play live. Wow, I'm so jealous. My mum wouldn't let me go. Why not? She said I was too young. Mums are so dumb. Yeah, I know. Darling, I've been calling you. It's time for tea. OK. What are you up to in here? Just homework. Hmm, not usually this keen. I'm finished now, anyway. Okay, see you downstairs. Don't forget your password, Lost Princess. If you leave it there for anyone to find, you never know where it might end up. I'm not that- Okay guys, obviously this narrator was just some homeless dude on the side of the street. Why? Well, because he thinks that all the cyberbullies from YouTube.com will come and sell her identity on the internet. Also, what kind of name is Lost Princess? I myself would have said MLG Savages for the Wind Creeps Getaway I have AOL. That's stupid. Where's Leafy? Where's Leafy? That's what everyone thinks, but watch out. Here comes Evil Arrow. Remember, bad things happen when he's around. We've used actors to protect the real children's identities, but remember, these stories are all true. 
Lucy kept her password on her mobile. Why didn't you take her phone? OK, hold my bag for me. So when she had her phone stolen by bullies, they were able to get onto her profile. What shall we put? I fancy Darren. What, that spotty kid in year nine? Yeah. Ew, he's gross. Let's say stuff about everyone. Yeah, then they'll all hate her. Lucy had used the same password for her email account, so the bullies could read her mail and send nasty messages to anyone. She's such a loner. She's got no friends. Hey, Lucy. Saw you at school today. Your hair looks awful. OK, guys, you see these bully, a.k.a. Leafy's are cyber bullies, obviously. I bet she didn't donate to Leafy's here, so all the Leafy fans decided to blow up her channel. Although Leafy has his own attack hackers and choppers, I thought she would at least have multiple passwords. I honestly thought her AOL firewall would hold, but I guess not. Who cuts it? Your nan. Lucy felt alone and upset, but because they weren't actually hurting her, she wasn't sure if it was bullying or not. Ah, oh, is the baby crying? Are you fed up of our nice little chats? Shame, because we haven't even started. You telling us and you're dead. Enough was enough, and Lucy told her dad everything. And he called the police. They said it was bullying and that Lucy could have told someone sooner. I got a new phone number, new profile, and new messenger account. I keep my password locked away in here, and I never leave the computer without logging off. Things quickly returned to normal for Lucy, but she definitely learned her lesson. So, Lost Princess, remember what happened to Lucy. Keep your password safe and never let anyone else log into your account. I wouldn't be bullied anyway. I've got loads of mates. That's what Lost Princess liked to think. After all, she'd made friends with White Knight really quickly. He was easy to talk to. But when faced with real people, she never quite knew what to say. That was OK, though, because her online friends were always ready to talk. She had more contacts than she could count, but there was one person she spoke to every day. Whenever she came online, he was waiting. What are you doing in here? Nothing. What's the matter? Home stuff. My parents are really horrible. Yeah, mine too. My mum's always out at work. She doesn't care about me at all. Lost princess, that's not true. Wish I could leave home sometimes. Me too. How old are you? Lost princess, be careful about the information you share. How old do you think? About 13. Yeah, good guess. I'm 13. No, you're not. You're 11. If I tell him that, he might not like me. Lost princess began to spend more and more time on the computer, even when she was supposed to be in bed. Just like Kieran. I must tell you now this narrator is definitely N.O.T. a savage. However, this next story coming up unleashes full savage mode on everyone in this video and Rex logic in the universe itself. Kieran started playing games when he was seven years old. He did it with his friends at first, but they usually got bored and wanted to do something else. Kieran never got bored. By the time he was 13, he was playing every night after school. And now I can play online, which means I can play against anyone in the world and beat them too. He was so busy getting better and better that some nights he didn't have time to go to bed. He even stopped washing or cleaning his teeth. His parents were getting worried about the time he was spending in his room. That's it, son. I'm taking the computer away. No, you can't. You're only 13 hours a day. I'll cut down. I promise. One more chance. But Kieran didn't stop himself. He would fall asleep in class before rushing home to get online. Then he'd play and play long after his parents went to bed. By the time he was 15, he dropped out of school, and Kieran realised enough was enough. Dad, I think I need help. I think so too, son. Kieran's parents found him a clinic that helped young people with addiction. Slowly I got better and started to fill all my time with the things the computer made me forget. Hey, you're right. Back to Lost Princess. Like Kieran, she spent hours on her computer chatting to White Knight. But there was one thing bothering her. 
I wish I knew what you looked like. So White Knight chose a photo to send. But how did she know it was him? She was taking his word for it. He could have sent a real photo, or he could have sent a photo of anyone. Lost Princess decided to send a picture as well. But suppose he didn't like her. Suppose he realised she wasn't 13. He might not want to talk anymore. That's it. So she spent hours taking the right one. Cool. White Knight really liked her photo. Now he sent her messages all the time, even when she was at school. Surprise! What are you doing? Guess who's got tickets to see Poison Apple live? Seriously? Yeah, you and me, 7 o'clock tonight. But I don't know if I can. Yeah, because you said you couldn't go last time. Don't you want to come? I will. I just won't tell her. White Knight made her feel special. And now she was going to meet him for real. Charlotte was excited about her new online friend too. <laughs> Charlotte got up early in the morning to go on the family computer. She had to lie on her profile and say she was 13, not 12. She shouldn't have done it, but she thought it was OK, because all her friends were doing it too. I've got a friend request. Do you know who it's from? Only one way to find out. Morning. Morning. I'm with up early. Charlotte's mum didn't like her talking to people online. What are you up to today, then? Nothing. Her mum was so old-fashioned. What was the point of phoning just one person when online you could talk to anyone you wanted? He's a friend of a friend from school. He says thanks for adding me. The boy commented Charlotte, and Charlotte commented him back. They talked about music and TV, her favourite foods. He was really interested in what she had to say. So Charlotte gave him her messenger address. It's OK. I know him now. And he's older than me, so he's sensible. But when he was talking to Charlotte on her own, the boy was different. He asked her about stuff she wouldn't want anyone else to read. She tried not to talk to him so much, but it was hard, because he was always there. And then one day he got her mobile phone number. It was an accident. My friend was asking. It wasn't meant for him. Now he texted all the time. Charlotte didn't know what to do. She didn't want to be rude. Charlotte... No phone at the table. You haven't said a word to us all night. Will you put that thing away? No! Let go! No, that's enough. Give it back! That's ridiculous. That's my private property! I hate you! Charlotte was arranging to meet the boy the next day. Or she was until her mum read the text. Charlotte. It turned out the boy wasn't a boy at all. He was a grown-up. And if Charlotte had gone to meet him, it could have been very dangerous. It's not your fault. And it wasn't just me. He was talking to lots of other girls as well, telling them the same as he did to me, that he was a friend of a friend. But the thing about the internet is that you could be talking to anyone. But Lost Princess was certain she knew exactly who White Knight was. She had a photo. But when she got to the gig, no one matched his picture. He would turn up, wouldn't he? Cues, eh? She sent him a text. Maybe he was already inside. Where are you, White Knight? The gig's about to start. Shall I see you inside? She'd felt safe online, but Lost Princess had never been to a gig before and began to feel like she shouldn't have come. White Knight, I'm going home. Is it your mum? No. What's the matter? I'm not 13. I'm 11. Oh. See? Now you're really angry. You don't want to see me anymore. I do. I'd like you whatever age you are. Really? You'd like me just the same, wouldn't you? Yeah, of course. If I was 14 or 40... 40? I've got something to tell you too. It's all right, princess. It's White Knight. Wait, what are you doing here, mate? This gig's for kids. 
White Knight had been lying all along just to get Lost Princess to like him. He knew it was wrong to talk to children he didn't know, but that didn't stop him. Meeting them online meant no one would know who he really was. Home stuff. And because he was a grown-up, he knew how to get people like Lost Princess to trust him. All right, mate. This way. Lost Princess began to see how little she knew White Knight. Looking back through her text, she realised how much danger she could have been in. Want to come to mine? You ever snogged anyone? Keep it a secret from your mum. You coming in? You started. No, sorry. Now Lost Princess could see that she should never have trusted White Knight. She'd never be friends with someone like that in the real world. So she did the only thing that she could. Mum, can you come and get me? Don't worry, I'm on my way. Did you know there's a fantastical world where you can be whoever you want and do whatever your heart desires? But always keep your personal details and passwords secret and be careful what you share. And remember when you're online, not everyone can be trusted. So if something doesn't feel right, tell someone in the real world. I'm Lost Princess and I live in a castle, but it's not really a castle, it's just my bedroom. Q-O-M-G this narrator named David Ten at one expressed my deepest condolences. I know somebody tied you to a chair and forced you to read this. So don't worry we have already started a GoFundMe for you. What? You thought I was serious? No your boy is a savage and does not make GoFundMe accounts for other people. Thanks for watching.